Hey everybody, so today I want to talk to you guys about hip hinging. Um, it's one of the most important moves um, to really get down um, in regards to helping protect that low back when you're doing any bending, lifting, um, anything like that. Because I have a lot of patients that, you know, their back hurts when they bend to pick something up and it's because they are not picking up that item properly. So I'm going to teach you guys the first step to picking something up off the floor properly. So the first step is a hip hinge. So I like to use like a broom or a stick or anything you have. Um, and this will be just, just be a good cue for, um, to make sure that your low back and your back stays nice and straight. So grab that stick or that broomstick. And what you're gonna do is you're going to hold the stick and make sure it's touching your back end and your upper back. And what you're gonna do is keep that stick there holding those two points and you're going to stick your butt out towards the wall. Now if you do this correctly you're going to notice that the pole or the broomstick stays contacting that upper back in your glutes. That's what we want. We don't want any break and we don't want any non-contact. So here's what happens when I do it wrong. So as soon as I flex that back, look what happens to the stick. It's no longer touching here, no longer touching up there. So keep it nice and tall, bend down, hip hinge. Okay, so that's the first part of learning how to um, pick something up. When we're doing any bending or any picking up off the ground, we want to make sure that our low back stays nice and straight. So we talked about the hip hinge, so making sure that our low back stays nice and nice and straight and we're just going to shove those hips back. So that's the first part of picking something up, up, up off the floor correctly. So the second part is making sure that we're standing square to what we're picking up. So if I'm picking up this kettlebell, I'm going to stand with my feet square and my hips square to the kettlebell, not turned so that I'm bending and picking up in awkward positions. I want them square. So now, step one, get your feet square to what you're picking up. Step two is the hip hinge. Step one, step two, and then step three is the squat. So once we get the, our hips back, we're going to keep that low back nice and tall and we're just going to squat, move our legs to pick up the item. Okay. So feet square to the item, we're going to hip hinge, bend, and pick it up. So same thing bringing it down, we're going to hip hinge, pick it up, and bring it down.